something and it's something I'm not very proud of but here we go look at that mess guys it's a freaking mess back there just cooking stuff a motion blender uh, mixing bowls pots just all kinds of stuff random thing of sugar there uh, a big pot here a big pan here anyway I have plans for this space now I like the idea of the curtain I really like the curtain you just snap it off or pull it back or whatever and I can get right into here but all this mess is a horrible use of space and I want to fix it this has been a mess and a disaster since day one so I mean I can I had my toaster here and it looked cute but still it was a mess behind all this so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to build a simple cabinet here have a cubby here now half of the cabinet is gonna be facing here me and the other half is gonna be facing the outside so I have my outside cooking stuff going that way and my indoor cooking stuff coming this way with the divider and a couple shelves and I'm going to do the same for that side so yeah that's the plan it's it's a mess but I have to take some measurements and buy some wood and it's going to be light wood I mean not in color maybe in color but it, it's going to be wood that does not weigh very much because I don't want to add a lot of weight to my minivan so it's going to be a very very lightweight situation Yeesh. yeah we're going to get that looking nice and new curtains more organization as you can see my fridge is so empty I have a lot of water I have a few eggs some tartar sauce, a tiny little butter, a little jam, some papers, and some bouillon. Look at that, so empty. Time to go on the grocery run. Yo, I gotta admit, I'm one of those old school people who like to do lists the old fashioned way. Pen and paper. Gotta make sure I put some snacks down here. You know, this blank space here, I also wanna get something cool for it. Like, maybe a, a towel with some art on it or something like that. Something to liven it up since I look at it so much or something where I can put some pictures of my family or pictures of something. Just something cool, you know what I'm saying? I don't know yet. I'll think of something. Look how cute this little iron is. But yeah, just knocking some of the wrinkles out. I don't care that much about wrinkles, but I care a little <laughs> when it's this many. Thank you. Yeah. 
Excuse me? So you can purchase these items for me. I'm not trying to like get no cash. Out. I got some Fair Life milk, 50% less sugar, 50% more protein, no artificial growth hormones. That's really important to me. And bonus is lactose free. I'm not really lactose intolerant, but you know. I got some bone in chicken thighs for upcoming recipe for my cooking channel so I got that and while we're down here I got some pistachio talking dash I got some regular sweet cream salted butter. Maple syrup. A can of pasta sauce, meat sauce. Mozzarella cheese. Some Farmer John's classic pork. pork. Sausage links. Heavy whipping cream. Extra creamy. Original. I like these better than the name brand. Because they don't. The top stays on better. And. Even if they're out for a little while. They don't lose their pressure. I got four of those. I got the Kerry Gold Pure Irish Butter, the good stuff. Some pepperoni. It's funny how they say gluten free. Why would it be gluten and pepperoni anyway? Funny. I got some sweet Southern Heat barbecue chips. I got some big tortillas. These are flour. I'm a big kid, so I got some sugar cones for my pistachio ice cream. You know I love to make my own caramel corn, but sometimes I like to just have some old school crunching munch. I got some white bread. Oh, the horror. I got the classic. And I got these hot and spicy Firewalk sizzling rich pork flavor noodles. Now these are delicious. I love these. This is so not good for you. I got some checkers for lunch. I'm gonna put this stuff away. Just watch my channel. You know I don't eat out a lot. It's, eating out is expensive. So I don't do it too much. But today I felt like it. I've never tried 
checkers before, so let's see what we got. I got some kind of deal. Two sandwiches. One is chicken, one's a hamburger. Make sure this bowl is okay. And I got some fries. Those are cold. So I hope you guys are having a good day. I just you just saw my little haul. He's good. Mm. You heard the burgers I got. deal look good the deal was like five dollars for two sandwiches and then they like upsold me the fries and a drink i drank the drink while i was driving but this whole thing cost about 10 bucks but anyway this one is the burger and this one is the chicken i'm gonna eat the chicken now I'm gonna save the burger for dinner. And this is a chicken sandwich. Let's see. Raggedy looking lettuce. Chicken patty. Okay. Let's, let's give it a taste. I love to try new things. All right, let's taste it. Hmm, it's pretty good. Seasoned chicken patty. That's a mayo-based sauce and lettuce. But I mean, it's simple, but it's pretty good. So guys, you saw my haul, you saw me shopping, and I still need to go pick up some vegetables. I didn't want to buy vegetables at Walmart or Vons because the prices are really high. <laughs> so I'd like to go to another little spot to get some vegetables. Um, but I'm gonna do that tomorrow. You saw in that clip that some guy walked up to me and asked for me to buy him some groceries he had in his hands and i i didn't have time to walk him to the cash register and buy him any groceries so i just gave him twenty dollars now money is tight for me right now but you know i felt like i'm doing a little better than he was so i gave him twenty dollars you never know sometimes you might need some help so no judgment you know people go through things obviously he needed some help so i just gave him 20 dollars. i didn't put his face on camera or anything like that but yeah it's no big deal you just help out people when you can